Right, it's time to make our way to the ferry now. It was literally a one minute ride from the city centre, quite convenient. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure where the terminal is, but I'm thinking it's down here somewhere. You're hoping it's down here? Yeah, I You're don't think You're going off a whim. I feel like it's over there. Well, they look like fishing boats to me. Oh, okay. Oh, that, oh, that's a ferry there, isn't it? I think there's only oh, one, yeah. one route You're they right. do. Oh, there's plenty of people there already. It's not one you want to miss, is it? No, not at all. Maybe we're pretty early as well. I'm guessing it's down Bodo here. Terminal. Down here. Ah, uh, here we go. Reserved. Left. Okay, so we go in yep. the first three. So you can go to that middle two where that motorcycle is because we've reserved our ticket. Ah, yep. Awesome. The other people have not. Reserved. So they run the risk if it's fully booked that oh, they won't that be able is, to get on. That is a risk, isn't it? I mean, like, the one before this was fully booked, so... Yeah, all the way to the end. Right, so we get our bag ready then, I guess. Yeah. We use um, just a foldable tote, put all of the bits that we might need for the ferry and snacks and the whatnot. Get that ready now. There you are, then. You can hop Am off. Hopping off? It. Yeah. Oh. Got someone from Slovakia in front of us on a tenere bike oh yep all right here we go next stop yep. the lofton islands yes exciting i'm excited because everyone said that the lofton islands are the most amazing place in norway and i don't know how it can get any better that i agree with you there i don't know how it can get any better but apparently are we going down there we're going down oh we're going in the lower levels into the bowels <laughs> into the bowels of the ship Thank you. So, <laughs> I expect like a load of stormtroopers down here or something from Star Wars. All right, here we go. Do you want me to hop off? Yeah, you can hop off here. There we go. Might take the second one. I didn't see many bikes, I'll just take this second many one. Many bikes coming on. Time to grab the camera and the water bottle. Sean's just strapping down Shadow there and I'm going to go upstairs and find us a seat. We are on the boat in Bodo and we are ready to make our way to the Lofton Islands. Em has claimed some good seats on the boat right in the front so we can watch all the way from the front where we're not going outside. She's just guarding the gear at the moment and I've headed out onto the deck going to be a new chapter of the adventure tomorrow um, every time we do a trip each part has a, like a like a chapter to me and the next chapter for us will be heading to the Lofton Islands we've heard so many good things about it we're really looking forward to exploring it and then I think from there we're only like another thousand kilometers from the North Cap and then we can slowly start making our way back down south so we're just going to sit back for the next three hours now and enjoy this ferry ride over and then we're going to port dock into the next port at about 10 p.m and we'll make our way to the next hostel there. Pretty standard ferry layout. Got a little canteen and quite a lot of comfy seats, but nothing too complicated. Like I said, Em's got some seats up at the front. And yeah, that's what you can expect from your ferry to the Lofton Islands. Should be quite a good view from here. We all settled in, Em. Yeah. Just 
just about. I think it's going to be a beautiful boat crossing. It should be, shouldn't it? Yeah. I'm so. really excited actually because I looked at the weather for tomorrow. It's a little bit drizzly, but it's not so bad. And then the rest of the week that we have up north is blue skies and plenty. Is it really? Yeah, we've got a bit oh of rain goodness. tomorrow, but other than that, I've even checked the weather for the Nord Cap. Yeah. And if we get there before Friday, it's blue skies, unheard of. Like goodness there's nothing. So we <laughs> have been very. We had rain at the start of the trip, but totally yeah. worth we it. Take that rain at the start if we get the blue skies later on. That'd be awesome, isn't it? Oh, this trip has been incredible so far. And, uh, it has. It's been quite intensive. It um, really has. There are a lot of kilometres to do to get to the top, isn't there? Like, and they're intense kilometres. They're not just like sit back and relax because there's so much to see and you're so engaged with everything, aren't you? And it's yeah, just, yeah. everything is amazing and you want to see everything and take everything in. <laughs> and then you get a minute to rest and you think, oh my goodness, how much have we done? You know, yeah, you find look at the map and see where you are. Like, and we're this, above yeah. Iceland right now. Are we really that we're far We're above up? Wow. Iceland. We're in the Arctic Circle, and we still have a thousand kilometres to go until we reach the Nord Cap. <laughs> Goodness me. It's been epic. It really has. Are well, you going to sit back and relax for this I bit? Am, Maybe I am. catch a little bit of sleep? Maybe a little bit. But the sun doesn't bit. go down, so it's not even. That's true, isn't it? You don't even feel like sleeping when it's like bright out here. Is there a chance of northern lights as well? There are. There is a 40% chance. Not very high. We've got a bit of cloud, but there is a chance. Yeah. We'll, take chance. A chance. we'll take a chance. We'll take a chance. All right. Well, we tried to relax in the boat, but the scenery here is spectacular as ever. Look at that. <laughs> it's unbelievable. There's hundreds of little islands all on the horizon. It's absolutely stunning. It is no words can describe it. It's absolutely the most magnificent and beautiful thing I've ever seen. And we're on a ferry. We're on a ferry. It was a great week and it just keeps getting better and better. And, and this is yeah, just a transport ferry, <laughs> but it's epic. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh man, this is amazing. It is. Everyone else is having a sleep downstairs. We're the only people out on deck. We're the weird ones. <laughs> but it's, it's actually really warm. It is. It is. And the fact that just on the horizon, when you look out, you can see all of these little peaks coming into view. Yeah, I don't think they're the Lofton Islands yet, are they? Because we've got. We're not, oh, look, dolphins. Oh my god. Oh, my goodness. There's dolphins. There they are. Can you see it? Yeah, they are just popped up. They, no, they're there, they're there. Can you see oh, 12 there's some more closer, there's some more closer to that. Oh my goodness. What a treat. <laughs> it's just like popping up. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Oh, we're just going to stay here now and look for yeah. dolphins for the next three hours. <laughs> need to get some warmer jokes. So I thought I saw something on the other side.
coming up to 10 p.m. now and the Lofton Islands are in sight. We're just shortly going to be docking the boat and we'll be heading off to the islands. There they are behind us and they look really awesome. It's going to be a fantastic few days exploring these. So we're going to head back down to the bike now, get it packed up and then disembark off the boat. And we've got about a six minute ride to where we're staying tonight. So we better get off and start the next chapter in the Lofton Islands. Let's go see the Lofton Islands. Thank you. There we go. There we are, Em. Here we go. It's a fishy smell. <laughs> this is greeted with a nice stench of fish. <laughs> I've never got off the boat to smell that strong. <laughs> but here we are. And it's a lot more green than I expected. I don't know what I did expect though. It is, isn't it? It's, uh, no, it has to say, it looks tropical. Do you have our hotel destination in, Sean? Um, well, I have it in, but I have no uh, signal at the moment. Oh, okay. I'll find it. it. It'll come up in a second, don't worry. That was the little boat over there that we uh, sailed across from Norway to Lofton Island on. It was a great little boat. Look at that. The harbour looks beautiful at night. And now, I think, wrong direction. <laughs> oh, we're going in. No, we are going in the wrong direction. I don't know why I expected to pull up in a huge city. Yeah, I did as well. It uh, seemed a lot more peaceful than I imagined. And here we are again back on the most beautiful road. They look a whole different landscape in the morning when the sun's out. You think? Yeah. The road looks very slippy right now. It does, yeah, I think it is a little bit. I think that's it. Nice secure parking anyway. You can park there. Ah, oh, yeah. That was an easy drive. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? <laughs> Six minutes. How bright is it for 10.30? Oh, yeah, I didn't really think about that. But, yeah, it is really bright, isn't it? Wow. And, and it's cloudy. So think about how bright it actually is. Oh, yeah. Is. Yeah, that's a good point. So probably at <gasps> least... Okay. I, this hotel has like a pin and code situation, so we're going to have to play a little bit of... Oh, did you get the pin code? I think I got text from them, yeah. Oh, okay then. But, we'll wait and see if it works. Yeah. All right then, well, we're going to get in here, get unpacked and get some rest. And tomorrow we're going to explore the Lofton Islands.